Today, let's look at streaming and caching speech using Superbase Edge Functions and Superbase Storage. So let's have a look at the demo real quick. So let's say we want to generate, you know, a bit of longer text uh, into audio. And we, you know, select a specific voice here, Sarah. And so you can now see that um, we're making a request. Eleven Labs raises 180 mallers in Series C funding to advance its AI audio technology. And we can look at the timing here, so you can see that, um, that make voice and sound you know, the request is not finished yet. So it is streaming years, uh, the the response back. So initially, we're just waiting for the server. So I'm running this locally here. So there's a bit of overhead there. Um, but then once we get the speech streaming. We're kind of keep, um, you know, streaming it in the background audio. until it's finished. Uh, and so you can see also when we pause here, uh, you can see kind of the the buffer sort of coming in uh, and streaming in. And so this is great. So basically, the first time, you know, we're generating this, um, you know, we want to generate it, and then we want to save it to Superbase storage. So say the next time that we're um, generating the exact same text with the exact same voice, Eleven Labs raises we can now see that it's coming immediately from the CDN cached, um, and we're not actually generating anything and anymore. And so that, that is exactly what we want to build today. And we can leverage Superbase Edge function and Superbase Storage, which has a built-in smart CDN for this. So let's have a look at the code. So uh, our front end here is just a nice little uh, static site generated by Lovable. Uh, it's great, love it very much. And so you can see here, we're just using React. And um, initially, we're just fetching all the voices here from the 11 Labs API uh, and putting them into our drop down here. So we can generate kind of the, you know, different voices that are available. And then uh, what you can see is we're, you know, just setting up kind of our React state status is here, fetching the voices. So once we have the voices, and then you can see really the magic is happening here in the handle generate. So all we're kind of doing is, you know, we're running locally here, we're triggering our function, which is called text to speech with a text parameter and a voice ID parameter. And so let's have a look at the Superbase function here that is making that happen. This is our Superbase function. So we have the Edge runtime here, uh, our Superbase client, our 11 Labs client, and we're using uh, an object hash uh, library to generate a hash for um, the parameters that we're taking in from, from the API. And so you can see here, we have um, a background task. So uh, one thing that we want to do here is that we want to immediately start streaming back the response, you know, as the speech is being generated, immediately stream that back to the user, and then in the background, upload it to Superbase storage. So we just have an uh, async method here, um, where we're passing in a readable stream. And then you can see Superbase storage, and we're just uploading our audio here to Superbase storage. So we can see now if we open the local um, Superbase studio, and we go to storage audio. So we have two things that were generated here. 11 Labs raises 180 mallers in series. And so these are different voices. 11 Labs raises 180 um, mallers. You can see, in and so there's different hash. To advance uh, so we're just naming our file with the hash of the request parameters. And so when, once we have that uploaded, that's great. That's our async function here. And so this is our request handler. So as we're setting the audio source here, we're setting the audio source on our audio um, element, you can see that here. So we have, um, once we have an audio source, we're then um, setting that into the source of our uh, HTML audio element. And so when that is happening, we're making a request to our server, and we're just getting out the parameters. So specifically, the text and the voice ID. And so for the same text and the same voice ID, we want to look up if we have, um, you know, a cached an already generated audio file in Superbase storage. So what we're doing is just we're 
generating hash um, over the request, so the text and the voice ID parameter. Um, and then what we're doing is we're looking up in Superbase storage if we have a file for this hash and then create a signed URL for it. And so if we already have a file, what we can do is we can fetch that file and we can then simply return the response of that fetch request back to um, you know, our front end. And so the great thing here is that Superbase Storage has a built-in smart CDN. So we're basically just serving this from a global uh, CDN, which makes this really snappy, really fast. Um, as you saw, I think it was like, you know, obviously also it's stored here locally on my machine. So um, it's on the edgiest edge it can be. Um, okay, great. But so say we don't have it cached already, we want to generate it. And so that's where we're making an API call to 11 labs. And specifically here, we're using the text to speech, and we're using the stream method. So we're passing in our voice ID, our text, um, a specific MP3 format, and the model ID. And then what we get back as a response is uh, a node stream. So we can then uh, chunk through the node stream, create a new browser readable stream. So that's what we're kind of using in Dino. And so once we have that stream, uh, a really cool feature of this stream is that we can tee off the stream. So you can think of it as, you know, like a, like a branching off. So we're basically cloning our stream, which is a really cool feature here. So now we can pass one part of the stream to our background function. So we can start uploading, you know, in the background, uh, and the edge runtime will just wait until that um, upload is finished. But at the same time, without, you know, blocking, we want to immediately start returning the browser stream back to the user to the client, so that immediately as we get, um, you know, the initial part of the speech generated, um, get that streamed back to the user response. And you know, you can see really, this is just a couple lines of code. But by combining these technologies, you know, 11 labs, uh, speech generation with streaming, and then Superbase edge functions and Superbase storage, which has a smart CDN built in, this, you know, becomes really powerful in building applications here. And so now, lastly, we can say thanks for tuning in. And we can maybe see what uh, Roger sounds like. All right, let's generate that. Thanks for tuning in. All right, thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you want to learn next. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.